Uh, hello, uh, my name is Holly. Uh, I'm a DPhil student at the University of Oxford and I'm going to tell you a bit about myself and my project. Okay. Uh, so I'm from Cornwall and I studied at Bodmin College and for A-levels I did Maths, Chemistry, Physics and Geography. And I chose these subjects just because I enjoyed them and I was quite good at them. Um, so I decided to go to university and I studied chemistry at the University of Bristol and this was a four-year integrated master's course. And um, So I studied chemistry because I enjoyed it at A-level and I felt like the scope of its application was quite broad and covered my interests. Um, so we had lectures throughout all four years and in our final year we also conducted a research project. Um, so hey, I'm now doing a, a DPhil at the University of Oxford. And I decided to do this because I enjoyed doing my project uh, in my master's course and I wanted to continue to do research uh, at a university. Um, so I'm on the inorganic chemistry CVT and um, so we have a six month talk component before we start in the lab so this consisted of uh, lectures, assignments and industry visits and this has been really beneficial and I felt like I've really improved my of writing, presenting and uh, critical reading skills and I've also really enjoyed being in a cohort. Okay. So my project is about using uh, polymers uh, to make better batteries. Uh, so here we have a diagram of a lithium-ion battery. Uh, so you have the electrodes, the anode and the cathode and these store the lithium ions and during discharge the lithium ions move from the anode and um, through the electrolyte and into the cathode material. And the electrons move via an external circuit and then this provides the energy. Okay, so why do we need better batteries? Um, what do better batteries look like? Um, so we want batteries to charge much more quickly. And this is really important for electric vehicles because for people to want uh, to use electric vehicles, you want the charging experience to be as close to refueling a regular car as possible. And at the moment it takes much, much longer. Uh, this is mainly limited by the electrolyte as fast charging causes a degradation. So we'd like a new electrolyte material. Uh, we also want batteries to be safer. Uh, so at the moment we have liquid electrolytes which are highly conducting but they're also flammable. And although fires and explosions are rare, uh, if you're going to use these batteries in vehicles, uh, the safety standards are much higher. Um, we also want the batteries to have a longer lifetime. So liquids in the electrolyte uh, tend to degrade faster than solids and also the electrodes undergo uh, quite a big volume change when the lithium kind of enters and leaves and this causes cracks and gaps to, cause in the material, uh, to form in the material and the battery uh, degrades this way. Okay, so how can we use polymers uh, to make batteries, uh, to improve batteries? So polymers can be used as a solid electrolyte material in the battery. Uh, so some polymers, uh, mostly those of oxygen atoms in the backbone, are able to conduct lithium ions. And these, uh, in general, are not flammable and they're more stable. And we can also use um, elastic and adhesive polymers as a binding material in the electrodes. Let's say the active electrode materials are particles which can be dispersed in this binder and this helps to reduce uh, the formation of cracks and it can, uh, the binder can deal with the volume change and uh, thus increase the battery lifetime. Uh, so the aim of my DPhil is to develop uh, new polymers for use in batteries and um, they'll, they'll consist of distinct blocks which will uh, provide the polymer with the right properties that we want. So a middle block can be uh, ionically conducting and then the outer blocks can provide the right mechanical properties. So we want it to be mechanically strong, uh, yet adhesive and elastic. And then these properties, uh, the, uh, the polymers can be tested. So their ionic conductivity, their adhesion strength and their mechanical strength can all be measured. So I'm yet to start, but hopefully it will develop new polymers which can meet the needs of future batteries. Cool. So thank you very much for listening and if you want to find out more, have a look at the website.